Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are everybody doing on a Sunday morning? Let's give God the glory, give God the praise for another Sunday. Thank God for what he's doing. Amen, amen, amen. We made it through another week. But everything that's going on on this earth, we thank God for victory. We thank God for deliverance and healing. He ever kept us. He ever protected us. We can't say our alarm clock did it. Can't say nothing else did it but Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we thank God for our health and our strength. We give God all the honor and the glory for this Sunday morning, God. We thank God. No, we just allow us to come back together, God. We thank God for what, 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 he, what he's doing on our Facebook page, our YouTube page, Lord. And that word that is going from the man and woman of God over into the different airways. So we just bless the Lord for what he's doing. Bless the Lord even in the midst of everything that's going on, on earth. The, the hurricanes, the tornadoes, the, 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 the plagues, everything that's going on. God is yet protecting us. He is yet covering us. He is keeping us. So we, I encourage you to continue. You know, spend time you know, uh, throughout the week. Uh, in the middle of the night, whatever, is the Holy Spirit wake you up? Spend time with the Holy Spirit. Spend time in your word. And, I, and talk to the Holy Spirit. Tell the Holy Spirit, if something on your heart, he already know, but you open, you open our mouths and, and ask for it and speak it into the existence. So we thank God for what he's doing. We thank you, for God, for the teaching that's, that's been coming for here in J Ministries on Wednesday night. God, we thank you for what, what he's doing. Y'all just be patient with us. When it comes down to our prayer line, it's kind of messed up right now, so we're not able to... Uh, Click on, on uh, the prayer line on, uh, on, on Tuesdays, and even in uh, Bible study, we're not able uh, to come on to it. So don't be encouraged. We're going to uh, work that out and get that fixed, and we'll be getting back with you. So we thank God for what he's doing as we prepare our hearts and our souls for, for whatever's about to happen. Lord, continue to pray for the ministers, Lord, that's going out into the streets. Continue to pray for the ones overseas that's preaching the word. They don't like them to preach the word. We yet bless our brothers and our sisters overseas and other places and going out into the streets to feed the ministries, to clothe the ministries. Don't we thank the ones for, 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 for sheltering the, uh, the homes. For the, there's a lot of ladies out there that uh, have kids and don't have nowhere to uh, live. I know one in particular, I don't really know a personal, but somebody says she has kids and she don't have nowhere to stay. So we want to keep those ministries in prayer that are opening the doors for these situations because it's, it's, it's going to get worse. Y'all know that we're in the last days, so it's going to get worse. But we thank God for what he's doing. We claim it to the victory, to the deliverance, healings in all areas in our life. I don't care how small it is. The enemy can come in on, on the smallest thing. So you want to stay prayerful and, and always lift things up to God. As we say that, we want to go into prayer. Holy Spirit, we thank you for this day. We thank you for help. We thank you for strength, God. We don't take it lightly that we worked all week and we came back home safely. We don't take it lightly that we woke up this morning and we give you honor and we give you glory for what you're doing. We thank you for the men and women of God, Lord, that's preaching and teaching your word, God, all over the world, God. Those preaching holiness, preaching righteousness, God, and spare not in the name of Jesus. Lord, we, we pray for them. We pray for their strength. But even the one that, that's, that's, that's up in the higher places, they get uh, tight even more. So we pray for their mindsets. We pray for it digitally to seek your face in the name of Jesus. We cover those uh, ministries is out in the street, you know, giving out clothes, God, giving out food, God, continue to pray they have the resource that they need, God, to bless your people, God. We thank you for all the outreach ministers, God. We thank you for allowing us to come into the building, Lord, to have service, God, to fellowship with, with us and strengthen each other, God, and go back out into the three. So we give you honor, we give you glory for everything that you're doing. We bless the man of God on this house, God, as he begins to bring forth the word, God. Even as he brings forth the word, open up his heart, open up his soul, God. Give him a, a, a revelation, God, even as he's preaching, God, that it may minister to somebody's heart, somebody been praying for something. Somebody been seeking for something, Lord. But Lord, bless them in the name of Jesus, God. Bless them in the name of Jesus. That word may go forth, God, and minister to that person, God. They haven't told anybody nothing. They may know that he's a man of God. They may know, God, that you're, you're on the throne and you answering prayers. You're hearing prayers in the name of Jesus. And we give you honor. We give you glory for everything that you're doing. And you're worthy of all the praise and all the glory. We thank you that our praise team began to come. We pray that you bless them and use them for your glory, that your people may be blessed in song. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 How many know how good God Hallelujah. has been? Bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. Father when you God. thank of God's witness and all that has done for you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I want you to help me. Oh.
See you. 
you to behold you as my king for your glory I will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king I want to be where you are I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be, I gotta be where you are. Say I wanna be, I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Where you are, and love is where you are, and peace is where you are, and peace is where you are, and joy is where you are, and joy is where you are, and hope is where you are. And hope is where you are. Love is where you are. And love is. Love is where you are. And peace is. Peace is where you are. And joy is. Joy is where you are. For your glory, I will do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my king, and be where you are. Welcome, my pastor, to the stage. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Let's give God another hand clap of praise through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Lord God. You brought us a mighty long way in a short period of time. And we want to say thank you, Lord God, because without you, Lord God, we would be lost. But we thank you. We thank you. And we praise your holy name. For being the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, the one and only, no beginning, no ending. We give you, Lord God, all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In your precious Son, Jesus the Christ's name, Lord God, through the Holy Spirit, we just say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We take nothing for granted. It was you that touched us and woke us up this morning. And for that, Lord God, we say thank you. For including us in this blessed day. Thank you, Lord God. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. But we want to say thank you for today. For life, health, and strength. That comes from you, Lord God. In your precious son, Jesus, to Christ's name. And everybody who loves the Lord God, let them say amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. And let's give ourselves a God bless you hand clap. Amen. You may be seated. Good morning, family. God is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. A couple announcements before we get into our word today, family. Remember, family, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Let us take nothing for granted. 
Tomorrow's not promised to no one. But thank God for today. Announcements before we get into our message. Our community church giveaway will be the second Sunday of October. October the 8th here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches at 10 a.m. Amen? That's our community church giveaway. October the 8th, the second Sunday of October. Here inside Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches at 10 a.m. Amen? Amen. Other announcements, family? We thank God for everything that he has done in his precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. We thank God for everything that he is doing in his precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. And we thank God for everything that he will do in his precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. Amen. Glory be to God. Family. This is a church of transparency. Amen. And I thank God for transparency. Keeping it as we say real. Amen. Family, there will be some changes coming the 1st of November. Amen? Small changes. We will be Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches will be up under new pastoral leadership. Starting the 1st of November. And I just wanted to let everyone know that the church is moving in another direction. Amen. A direction to build a better tomorrow. Amen? Amen. A direction to bring youth in. Amen? A direction that is under a new vision. Amen. All for the better of moving forward here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. So family, I was asked to be on board with this new movement, new direction, new vision. And you know at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches family, we pray on everything. Amen. So I prayed on it. Amen. And the Lord gave me my answer. My answer is to stay on the vision that the founder implanted in us, implanted in me. So the new vision is to move Transformation Church forward. Amen? And we're going to pray that Transformation Church continues to move forward. Amen? But I'm going to, I guess family, I'm old school. And I'm going to stick with the vision that brought me this far. Amen? I'm going to continue to keep the vision alive that our founder, Brother Bob, implanted in us. 
Amen. And the Lord has blessed us to have our very own platform. Amen. Our very own platform is Pastor B. Steelville YouTube channel. So I will continue to bring God's word every Sunday. Hallelujah. On Pastor B. Steelville YouTube channel. And I thank God for the opportunity that was presented to me going on five years ago to preach the good news of the gospel here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. I take nothing for granted. I thank God for the opportunity because the opportunity was presented to me by committee. Amen? It was a committee. A leadership team got together and discussed it. Amen? And they decided that I could stand in and be pastor here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. It was decided by committee. Amen? So I thank God for the committee, the leadership team that got together and voted for Pastor B. Steelville to be pastor here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beach. This is, a, this is an honor for me to pastor under Brother Bob Felder and Transformation Church of the Palm Beach. It's an honor. It's a privilege. And I just thank God for his word. The ones who are faithful over a few things, God will make you faithful over many. So we've been faithful over the few things that the Lord has blessed us with here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. So I want us to continue, continue to support Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. Because I will always support Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. But I'm going to continue to press toward the mark of the higher calling in the vision that was given to Brother Bob. I'm going to keep it alive. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And one thing for sure and two things for certain, guess what, family? I can't do it by myself. Amen? I can't do it by myself. And guess what? I have a team and I had a word. And everything that I'm getting ready to bring forward today in this message is in the word. Today's message, family, the title says it all. Vision. Not any vision, God's vision. Amen? Now, family, it's a big difference in when you talk about vision. Not any vision. God's vision. You know something about God's vision? God's vision won't die because God's vision is eternal. Amen? Did you know God's vision will never die? Man's vision, male or female, you know, that can die. Man's vision, male or female, vision might not never materialize. Man's vision, male or female, might get started and just all of a sudden stop. But God's vision. 
God's vision. Amen. You heard me say, but God's vision. Did you hear me? If you didn't, let me say it again. But God's vision canceled out everything else. God's vision will never die. God's vision is eternity. Amen. God's vision is infinity. God's vision is eternal. Family, there are three things. You know here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches, we believe in the power of three. So we can't leave the three things out that's tied to vision. Amen? A God-giving vision points to God. Glory be to God. That's number one. Number two, a God-given vision lines up with truth. Glory be to God. That's number two. Number three, a God-given vision is the truth. Glory be to God. All that's a God-given vision. So when God gives you a vision, that vision will not die. Glory be to God. And you know, we're going to let the Bible take over from now, from here. Because the Bible is going to let you know everything you need to know about God's given vision. Amen? One thing for showing two things for certain. When God gives a vision, get on board, family. Get on board. Amen. You ain't got to worry about the ship sinking with a God-given vision. Let's get into our word. Glory be to God. Let's get, go to our scripture reading, family. Let's get right into this. Amen. Scripture reading is coming from the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Glory be to God. Remember our title, family. Vision. Not any vision. God's vision. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 and 32, our scripture reading. I'm coming out of the King James Version, family. Amen. Book of Romans chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. It reads, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, glory be to God, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we thank you for your word going forward. Let your word fall on doers of your word as well as hearers of your word. I call that as though it was done because it is done in your precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. If God be for us, who can be against us? Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God, for the reading of your word. Hallelujah. When God gives a vision, we can always rely and depend on God to be with us. Amen? Did you hear me, family? I don't think you heard me. I'm going to have to read that again. When God gives a vision, we can always rely and depend on God to be with us. Amen. We know that to be true. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I got to get this in now. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. Amen. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. But we're going to come back to that. Amen. So if God be for us, who can be against us? Glory be to God. As we share 
That's all of us, family. This is a message for all of us. As we share the good news of the gospel of Jesus the Christ, his son, and as we strive toward the vision that God gave us. Family, we're here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches sitting under a vision. Amen? We're here up under a vision. God gave a vision to Brother Bob, our founder. Amen? Now hold on. God gave a vision to Brother Bob, our founder. A while back, Brother Bob was put in a deep sleep by God. Amen? Brother Bob was in this deep sleep. The reason I know, because he told us. Amen? God put him in a deep sleep, and his family could not wake him. His family tried to wake him, but they couldn't wake him. His family was concerned. We all was concerned. But he could not be woken. Why is that? Because God put him in a deep sleep. And after hours went by, Brother Bob woke up out of the deep sleep. And when he woke up out of the deep sleep, he told us what thus says the Lord told him in a vision. God gave Brother Bob a vision. Amen. The vision that God gave Brother Bob, Brother Bob shared it with us. The vision was God told Brother Bob to get the boys and the girls off the streets. Amen. Brother Bob was telling the vision and gave up everything. Brother Bob wound up giving every his business, his auto body paint business, he gave it up to start on what thus says the Lord gave him in a vision. So he gave everything away to do whose work? The Lord's work. Amen? So now, Let's get to our word. Now remember, Brother Bob got a vision from the Lord. Amen? And we already know that the Lord God's vision can't die. Amen? Let's get into our word. Let's get into our man. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 18. Glory be to God. Book of Acts, chapter 18. We're going to start at verse number 9. Hallelujah. Now remember, we're sitting here in Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches behind a vision that the Lord God gave our founder, Brother Bob. 
Amen. Acts chapter 18. Start at verse number 9. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Hold on. Don't that sound familiar? Let me read it again. Then spake, spoke the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Did not the Lord God put our founder, Brother Bob Felder, in a deep sleep and spoke to him and gave him a vision just like he did the Lord God did Paul. The Lord God is no respect to a person. If he do it for one, he'll do it for you. Well, he did it for Paul and he did it for Brother Bob and he did it for us. Amen. Then the Lord spoke to Brother Bob in a vision. Now, hold on. Remember, the Lord God put Brother Bob in a deep sleep. He couldn't be woken. They shook him. He couldn't be woken. Amen. Now, what brother, while, now while Brother Bob was in this deep sleep, guess what Brother Bob was doing? He was communicating with God. Glory be to God. Listen, I done sat with Brother Bob many times, and he done told me the whole story. So it ain't like I'm out there putting stuff together. No, I'm telling you what Brother Bob told me and us. He done told the story to everybody. Amen. And one thing for showing, two things for certain. Brother Bob done told this story over a hundred times, and guess what? It don't never change. It always the same. You know why? Because the truth don't change. The truth stays the same. Amen? Now, Brother Bob, while he was in this deep sleep, and he was communicating with God, and God gave him the vision to go to the streets, get the boys and girls off the streets. Amen? Brother, guess what Brother Bob told God? Brother Bob told me that he told, when God told him to go to the streets and get the boys and girls off the street, Brother Bob said, now he's talking to God, but they got Uzis. Amen? That's what Brother Bob told me. He told God that they got Uzis out there. Amen. And guess what? Now he communicating with God. Now guess what God say after Brother Bob told him they got Uzis. Be not afraid. It's right there in the word. Let me read it again. Acts chapter 18, verse number 9. Then the Lord God spoke to Paul, Brother Bob, in the night by vision. They communicating. They conversating. Brother Bob said, but they got Uzis. Then the Lord tell Brother Bob, Paul, be not afraid. Be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. The Lord God told Brother Bob to go in the streets, speak to the people, and don't hold back nothing. Speak about the word of God. And Brother Bob went to the streets because God told him, be not afraid. Go speak to the people in the streets. That's right, the ones with the Uzis too. Because that's what Brother Bob told him. He told God, but they got Uzis. And God said, what is saying in the word? Be not afraid. Speak 
and don't hold back. Amen. Let's go to verse number 10. For I am with thee. God is telling Paul, just like he told Brother Bob, I'm with thee. Just go. I'm with thee. And no man, hallelujah, shall set on thee to hurt thee. This God talking. This God talking to Brother Bob while Brother Bob is in a deep sleep. And God is telling Brother Bob, I need you to go to the streets. Get the boys and girls off the streets. Make a safe haven for them. Be the beacon of light. But God, they got Uzis. Be not afraid. Speak my word. For I will be with you. And no one will be set to hurt you. Oh boy, well now God tell us he with us. Don't be afraid, family, don't be afraid. God is with you. Be not afraid. He want us to speak the good news of the gospel. Be not afraid. Because God is with thee. Amen. God's word is so good. God in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But God will go before you and be with you at the same time. God never has to leave where he is to get where you are. Why? Because Deuteronomy 31 and 8 tell it all. He'll go before you and be with you at the same time. Family, let go to Deuteronomy 31 and 8. They get it right from the Bible. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Because God is telling us to go, share, spread the good news of the gospel, his word. He wants you to preach his word. Talk to people about his word. Deuteronomy 31 and 8 reads, I want to read this out of the NIV version. Can I read it out of the NIV version? Amen. The NIV version, Deuteronomy 31 and 8 reads, And the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. Oh boy. Then that, that's something to talk about. Because I can't go before somebody and be with them at the same time. But God can. God will go before you. Amen. Whatever hurt. And didn't God say in his word that he will not enact. Amen. Chapter 18, verse 9 and 10. He talked about he will not let you be hurt. He will not allow danger to come to you. You know why? Because he's going before you. And he's going to be with you at the same time. Oh, we serve an awesome God who ain't got to leave where he is to get where you at. He omnipresent. And he go before you. Let me read that again. And the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. 
Hold on. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's stay with leave you. God will never leave you. God's word said that. God will never leave you, but he'll go before you and be right there by your side. He'll go before you, and then he'll speak to you. Did you know God will speak to you in a soft, still voice? He'll speak to you. He'll have you stop when you ain't supposed to stop. And you're trying to figure out why you stop. I done did it many a time. I done stopped way before the stop sign, trying to figure what I stopped back here for. Amen. Then you see somebody running across the street. God will go before you, family, and stop you from all what? Hurt, harm, and danger. That's what his words say. That what his words say. Let me read it again in the book of Acts, chapter 18. Amen. Verse 10. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. God is with thee. God ain't going to let nothing happen to you, family. And, and the Lord God was with our founder, Brother Bob Felder. And Brother Bob Felder brought his brothers with him. I've been here 24 years. There was Brother Jimmy and Brother Eddie. Amen? There was them three Felder boys in the beginning that when I came here, amen, 24 years ago. Brother Bob, Brother Jimmy, and Brother Eddie. And all of them were on a mission with one cause, to get the boys and the girls off the streets, to give them a safe haven. And you know what? Me being here 24 years, best thing ever happened to me. Amen, let me be, let me be real, let me be truthful. Best thing that happened to me was I got here at Jay's Outreach Ministries and learned the Word of God. Sitting up under Brother Bob, Brother Jimmy, and Brother Eddie. I learned the Word of God. And Brother Bob asked me, Boy, you want to be ordained? Let me be truthful with you, family. I didn't even know what the word meant. I'm young in the Christian faith now. He said, boy, you want to be ordained? But he was a man that I never said no to. So I said, yeah. So, all right, boy, get you ordained. And here it is. 24 years later, I'm licensed, ordained, minister of the gospel. All because of one man that I know answered the call that the Lord God gave me. He answered the call. He gave away his business and answered the call. And he got all this where? From a vision. A vision. But it's whose vision it is. It's God's vision. And God's vision won't die. 
because God's vision is eternal. Guess what, family? All of us are a part of God's vision. Eternity. All of us in here, in this sanctuary, on the TCOPB Facebook page, on the Pastor B. Steel YouTube channel, on the Transformation Church of the Conference line, guess what? All of us are under this vision that the Lord God gave Brother Bob. All of us. So we part of a vision that can't die. Amen. It can't die. It's going to continue to move on. We know that to be true because of the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament looks toward the Messiah. The New Testament looks back at the Messiah. What that tell you? That was a vision. And guess what? It's still moving on. Why? Because it's God's vision. Amen? God gave them in the Old Testament of the Messiah to come. What were they looking for in the Old Testament? For what vision had gave them? That the Messiah, the Savior, is coming. They are looking for the Savior in the Old Testament. Amen? In the New Testament, what we're doing, we, we the New Testament. What we doing, we're looking back at the Savior. So what that is, that vision ain't never died. Amen? Why? I'm trying to get this to you, family, because it's God's vision. It ain't man's vision. It's God's vision. Amen? When God give a vision, you ain't got to worry about it dying. Man's vision, you know, people are abandoned man's vision, male or female, that can get abandoned. Amen? They can just, uh, I don't want to do that no more. And jump on something else. But God's vision, oh my God. Me personally, I thank God for the vision he gave Brother Bob. I thank God that Brother Bob answered the vision. And guess what? God's vision is going to stand the test of time. Amen. Guess what? Ain't no such thing as you can abandon God's vision. God's vision is eternity. Somebody going to want to keep God's vision alive. Amen. If it ain't but one somebody, it's somebody that want to keep God's vision alive. And we all are part of keeping God's vision alive because we all know Jesus the Christ is the Lord and Savior. We know Jesus the Christ is the way to the Father. We know no one can get to the Father but through the Savior. Amen? That was God's vision before the foundations of the world. Did you know that? God had a vision. Guess what else he envisioned? He envisioned all of you. And he hadn't created heaven and earth. But he already envisioned you. That lets you know God's visions will not die. God's vision will materialize. In other words, let's keep it simple. God's vision will happen. And guess what? Before God created heaven and earth, what, what's the day's date, family? The 24th? The 24th day of September. Sunday morning, 2023. Before God even made heaven and earth, he already knew this day. Guess what else he knew? that he was going to have me bring this message about vision, not any vision, God's vision. Because that's the only vision that's going to stand. 
when the dust settle and the air clear, guess what's going to be standing? Only God's vision. Amen. Everything else going to crumble. Only thing going to last, family, in closing, is God's vision. That's going to last. And when God give you a vision, stick with it, family. Or you'll know it's from God. Amen. You will know without a shadow of a doubt. When God give you a vision, you will know it. Stick with it, family. I'm a part of a vision. Amen. Amen. I'm a part just like, no, 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 hold on. All of us is a part of God's big picture vision. All of us. And guess what? This is a part of it. Little old Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches is part of God's vision. Amen. And guess what? You in the right place. You're in the right place because you're part of God's vision. Don't you ever forget that. Everybody out there on our TCOPB Facebook page, you're part of God's vision because you're tuned in. Everybody on Pastor B. Steelville YouTube channel, you're part of the vision because you're tuned in. Everybody here in the sanctuary is part of the vision because you're tuned in. Even the ones on the Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches conference line where they got it all messed up, guess what? They still part of the vision because they tried to tune in. They still part of the vision. Amen. And I just want to say, I thank God for his word. I thank God for this message. I thank God for the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 18, verses 9 and 10. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision. Be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. For I have much people in this city. Oh, you got some family around your family. The word said it. God said he got much. That means a lot of people where? In this city. Hold on, I didn't say that. The word of God said that. You don't believe me? You already know I'm going to read it again. For I have much people in this city. That's Acts 18 and 10. And guess what? You ain't got to worry about nothing, family. God got you covered. Because you're part of the vision. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. You're part of the vision. And guess what? God's vision can't die. So you part of eternity. Oh, not, not any kind of eternity. You part of eternal life. That's what you want. You want to be a part of eternal life. Amen. So family, the vision that the Lord God gave our founder is still moving forward. It's still moving forward. Thank God that he gave us platforms to bring his vision forward. And the platform he gave me, I'm going to use it to keep the vision he gave our founder, Brother Bob, moving forward. You know what I used to hear and I still hear in the world, and it makes sense. <coughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Guess what? Ain't nothing broke about the vision that the Lord God gave Brother Bob. 
ain't nothing broke about it. So I'm going to do my part. Because them three Felder boys got us to where we are today. Guess what? One couldn't do without the other. It take a committee to make it happen. And we are part of the committee that's making it happen. Thank God for Transformation Church of the Palm Beach. It's that time of service, family. If you don't know God, know this. You need a Savior. Amen. You want to be a part of the vision, don't you? I'm talking about the vision of eternal life. You want to be a part of the vision of eternal life. You want to be a part of God's vision. Guess what? You are a part of God's vision. Now it's on you. All you got to do now is accept his only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, as your Lord and Savior. And guess what? You be a part of not only the vision, but you be a part of eternal life. The Bible clear. The vision his son said, no one can get to the Father but through me. So you got to have the Savior to get to the Father. Will you come? If you're at home on our social media pages and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and be a part of the vision of eternal life, stand up where you are at home. If you're here in the sanctuary and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, come forward. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Holy, holy, holy is our Lord God. And did you know that you can intercede, stand in the gap for the lost? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can stand in the gap, intercede for the lost. And guess what? The Bible says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Your prayers can bring the lost in. Amen. God will touch them where they are, enlighten their hearts, move their feet to come on in. You know God can do that. Because the word tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, with God all things are possible. So if you don't know God, know you need a savior. You can intercede, stand in the gap for the lost. And the third thing, prayer. Did you know you might need prayer? Guess what? Everybody need prayer. So if you're able to stand, stand for prayer. If you're able to stand. Hallelujah. Glory be to God through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Lord God, we ask that you touch every soul, Lord God. You touch Every member, Lord God, you touch everyone, Lord God, that's accepting your son, Jesus the Christ, as their Lord and Savior, Lord God. Touch them in a mighty way, Lord God. Even the ones that are lost, Lord God, touch them as well, Lord God, because you are a God of many chances. And we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done in your precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you are doing in your precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. And we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you will do in your precious son, Jesus the Christ's name. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Holy, holy, holy is our Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody who loves the Lord God, say amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. And let's give ourselves a God bless you hand clap. Amen. You may be seated. In closing. I want to reiterate 
on our title. Vision, not any vision, God's vision. That's what's going to last. Everything else can fall, can fail, but God's vision won't fail. Worship and giving. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's time for worship and giving through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. If you were touched, blessed by this word, and you're on our social media page, and you want to give tithes, offerings, or donations, you can do so by sending tithes, offerings, donations. If you want to go through the mail, you can mail it to 2831 Avenue S, Riviera Beach, Florida, 33404, Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches. You can give your tithes, offerings, and donations. If you want to, you can even call our treasurer, hallelujah, glory be to God, our treasurer, Sister Bridget. You can call our treasurer. She can guide you over the phone how you can give tithes, offerings, donations, and seeds, so on. Her number is area code 561. Telephone number 313-2373. That's area code 561. Telephone number 313-2373. And our treasurer, Sister Bridget, can guide you over the phone how you can give tithes, offerings, donations, and seeds so on. If you want to bring it up here to the church, you can bring it right up to 2831 Avenue S, Riviera Beach, Florida, 33404. Our deacons will be here until 12 noon. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Let us all stand, bless our tithes, offerings, donations, and seed sowing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God, for another blessed day. We ask that you continue to shine your marvelous light over all of us. We ask that you bless these tithes, offerings, donations, and seeds sowing. Let it be edifying to your kingdom. Bless the ones that were able to give and gave, Lord God. Bless the ones that wanted to give but didn't have it to give. Bless everyone, Lord God. We just want to say we thank you. We love you. We praise you. We'll be forever grateful to you and only you, Lord God, through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. And everybody who loves the Lord God, let them say amen. Amen. Let's give God another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. You may be seated. And family, don't forget about our community church giveaway. Second Sunday in October, next month. Amen. October the 8th. Here at Transformation Church of the Palm Beaches at 10 a.m., we'll be giving away furniture, appliances, clothes, shoes, pictures. We, we, it's all a giveaway. Amen. And we ask, and we're going to feed, and we're going to have food. We're going to feed you. Amen. So come. If one somebody tells somebody that tells somebody, we'll have a packed house. Amen? So I'm asking that you ask your friends, your neighbors, to come to the Transformation Churches of Palm Beaches Community Church Giveaway. Everything is free. Come one, come all. Through the Holy Spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. And remember, family, in closing, vision. Not any vision. God's vision. Because we're part of God's vision that he envisioned before the foundations of the world. This ain't no coincidence that we're here today and that this message came forward. It's not a coincidence. There are no coincidences with God. He already know, ain't he all knowing? He knew this message was coming forward. I thank God for his word because that's what's going to keep us strong. Remember, family, stay strong. Don't fall weak.
keep it real, be still, and thank God for Jesus. In closing, when a man is out of place, his woman is displaced. His children is misplaced and Jesus is replaced all because a man is out of place. So men stay in place. Glory be to God. It is good not to do wrong. Amen. It is wrong not to do good. And if you do good by everybody, you won't wrong anybody. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When your heart is right toward God, God obligates himself to orchestrate your life, to bring you into the knowledge of the things you need to know and into the company of the people you need to know that is critical for your success and destiny in life. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Let us all stand for our benediction in closing. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord God, for vision. Not vision, God's vision. For the grace of our Lord God, repeat after me. For the grace of our Lord God, Jesus the Christ, and the love of our Lord God, God the Father, and the communion with the Holy Spirit, be with us all, always and forever. And for eternity, in Jesus the Christ's name, amen. I'm Pastor B. Steelville, and remember, be prayerful, be safe, and be still. God bless everyone.